Hello again and welcome to Deerfield Library series of tips and skills for you to try at home. Once again, we're here in Blender and today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare an object to be 3D printed. So this will probably be a shorter video, um, but I'm going to show you how to export your lovely creation in Blender to an STL file, which is pretty much the standard when it comes to 3D printing. Most files you get online are going to be in STL format. So at this point, you're probably going to have a model, a sculpt, some kind of geometry data that you want to make a 3D print out of. Fortunately, Blender makes this a very painless process, and even has some awesome tools that can catch and fix errors that might otherwise cause problems during the actual printing process. So to access Blender's built-in 3D printing tools, you're going to want to go up here to Edit, and go to Preferences. You'll then go to Add-ons, and type in 3D and you'll see here a mesh 3D print toolkit. Now this is going to be unchecked for you but uh, go ahead and check it so this got this check marks next to it and then you'll see in the uh, toolbar over here along with the uh, standard things like item, tool, view, we also have 3D print now. So you can see Blender has a built-in add-on called 3D print toolbox. This tool gives you useful data as well as some commands that you can use to fix model issues. The main issue, however, that causes many printing errors is non-manifold geometry. It sounds really complicated, but the most straightforward terms to be non-manifold would mean the object couldn't exist in the real world. Allow me to explain. I have several objects here that are currently non-manifold, all in their own unique way. The first example we have is pretty simple. It's just two cubes with a single connecting edge. Sure, you could technically try to print this, but it's just going to break into two pieces the moment you take it off the print bed. You can see when you try to make it manifold, the object just gets totally screwed up. The issue here is that this point has no thickness. To have the shape be printable and hold together, you'd want it to look like this. Sure, it's still likely going to break, but it will stay together once it's off the print bed, as you can see now. This other object is the same. As you can tell, it has a point of zero thickness, and it's going to break. Worse even, unlike the previous two cube meshes, this object is going to need supports, which will essentially become wasted material once the object inevitably breaks. So next you have faces like this, which exist either perpendicular to these other two faces here, this one and this one, or just completely separated faces from the rest of the mesh. These faces have zero thickness, which is a big no-no. Only way this object would make sense is if it looked something like this, or even this, I suppose. But as it is now, it can't be printed. And for this completely separate face here, you could try doing something like this. But then you're just back to this non-manifold shape we had back when we were doing this. So it's not going to work anyways. Another way you can have non-manifold geometry is internal faces. An object to be printed is ideally a single, whole, cohesive object. This mesh I have here may seem manifold, but when you go into X-ray mode with Alt-X, you can see there are internal faces within this object. This causes issues with the volume, so you want to make sure there aren't any internal faces. The most straightforward way to fix this would be just select the faces and then delete them like this. But the 3D printing toolkit allows us to do it without breaking a sweat. Just go ahead and hit the Make Manifold button and you'll see it gets rid of those faces for us. Very handy and a great tool to have throughout your Blender 3D printing workflow. Continuing off of having zero thickness, you may have an object like this some weird face that I sculpted, and you have a hole back here you put because it's supposed to be a jar or a holder of some sort. But as you can tell, this sphere has no thickness. If it was a solid sphere, it would print fine since there aren't any open spots on the mesh. A good way to think of something being manifold is to think whether or not it could hold water without leaking. One way you can fix this is by adding the solidify modifier, and then adding some thickness like this. Now if you had water inside this thing, in the actual walls of it I mean, none would spill out. The walls of this are airtight. Another simpler way of fixing this is to just select this ring of edges right here, then extruding them down, and then doing a grid fill on this hole that was left at the bottom. Now we have an airtight solid object 
with this small divot here that you can obviously make deeper if you wanted. But in essence, this is how you would make a jar or a cup or something of that sort. So those are some of the most common forms of non-manifold geometry, which will pretty much kill your mesh any time you try to print without fixing it. It's essential that you make sure whatever object you're trying to print is totally airtight before exporting it. But once you are sure that it is ready to be printed, exporting it is very easy. You go right over here to the export tab. You click on this folder right here and then make sure that you're in the directory you want to be saving the object to. So for me, it's this folder right here. Hit accept. Lastly, you'll want to give your object a unique name. Something like sphere isn't very unique. Uh, so let's call this Mr. Face Cup. Why not? And now when we hit export, you will see that we have our object right here, ready to go for us. We'll have a video soon on how to upload files to us to get them printed and ready for curbside pickup. But for now, this should cover the most common issues you encounter when trying to 3D print something that you made in Blender. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a really great day.